This is going to be tips and tricks or what to do and what not to do. Now I'm actually going to turn up my, my desktop audio for this just in case. Okay, uh, yeah. So first of all, first thing you want to do is, um, you want to aim your crosshairs. So, that little plus in the middle. You want to aim it at a direct point to, um, the player. So, you get a little bit of extra reach. And you also want to see what the team next to you is doing. Now, if there isn't a team, then just go ahead and cop that gen over there. And usually what I do when they're, when I get the team next to me out, um, is I actually usually go to mid. You want to make sure you got about 80, um, at least 80 wool. And you also want to be able to click fast. So to practice clicking, I would suggest building up a lot. And then after you get good at that, then you want to try building bridge is while you sprint. You sprint by pressing the shift. And yeah. So I'm using pyro because pyro is actually one of the best kits in the game. If you didn't know. And the reason why you need so much wool is just in case someone tries rushing you. You want to be able to quickly get out of there. Like if someone's at your base... You need to go to another base. If someone's at... And, like, you won't be able to build up if someone's trying to get you. And you also want to do that on this... Like, jump off of those, like, emerald things on this map. You see, no one's come to mid yet. But as soon as they see me there... Yeah, they're going to want to come. And I should just getting... Don't even get eight. It's too risky. I was just getting about that much. See how someone's getting to mid? Whenever someone starts doing that, you want to run. Barbarian's also a pretty good kit, because you can still get it. Um, so I was just getting it. But Pyro is the best kit. And you also want to get a mostly uh, Tele Pearls. Now... In a custom match, you want to get try to get good at tally pearl clutches, because knowing, because people can still arrow your balloons and do weird stuff to your balloons. Also, you can click onto like on the icon in the shop. Um, yeah. And oh my gosh, anti cheat. Well, uh, make sure uh you have blocks in your hands when you're not fighting anyone. Just in case you need a clutch. So, like, let's say... Um... Oh, no! I'm about to fall into that crack! Well, then you can just quickly build. Like... Uh-oh! Just... Do that. You also want to always be cautious of what's behind you. Yeah, that's a very important thing. I'm going to be very cautious about that. And you see, now there's someone coming to mid. He's a miner. I cannot let him do it. That's why I got Tully Pearls. Because if someone tries attacking me, well, I have all the all this stuff. Tully Pearl Clutch. Tully Pearl Clutch is the, one of the best things you can do. And now... I suggest getting that diamond armor, some tele pearls. Tele pearls is my go to. Now he's going to probably be coming here. Okay. Go build up. Shama's my little friend. And yep, that's exactly what you want to do. Then you want to quickly upgrade brittle attack. Now what are you going to do, huh? And you see why I got tele pearls. Got right out of there. 
Oh my gosh, you saw that. Oh, okay. Just had to wait for my ping to go down. Holy. Okay, so someone's chasing me with a UZ sword, right? That's why you always want blocks on you, because if someone's trying to chase you, roll up. Or, you have teleportals, teleport all away. And if you are good at fighting, then you won't even need to do that. And there is something you can do, so if someone's not in reach and they're coming towards you, then you can start mining their bed, and then hit them, and then once they're dead, you mine their bed fully. And th that will make it oh, very easy to kill them. Okay. Now, you want to get yourself maybe one thing of balloons. But if you have enough emeralds, then two. And make sure you always have a lot of tight pearls on hand. You Now, there has been something that I've been forgetting. You will forget sometimes what to do. You want to get diamonds and you don't want to upgrade armory i mean armor protection yet yeah. i mean you can you can yeah upgrade armor if you have enough but you want to upgrade damaged here that's the main thing you want to upgrade that's like the go to okay come here okay never mind he's going to run Also, if you ever choke, it's okay to run. Not gonna lie, running is just a whole part of the game. You will go, you will get mad at other people for running, but honestly, yeah, it's a part of the game. And yeah, uh, you don't want people to get like too too terribly stacked. No, that's okay. That will happen. Let me <laughs> let me try that again. Um, this is that's called having a bad computer. You will miss your tally pearls. Now that is something that happens to everyone. It happens to the best of us. And now you can't get mad about that. You can't get mad about that. Even though you feel like it. Even though you feel like breaking your skull. You don't get mad about that. And, okay, you see, I'm on red team. There's somebody right there, and there's somebody right there. You gotta make sure you're checking both of them. And, and this time, I'm actually gonna do something a little different. Because you don't want to do the same play every single game. I want to change it up a bit. So, like, I'm gonna go to Diamond Gen, first thing. Now this is gonna make me look like a really bad player. And hopefully they're gonna rush me. Okay, I got into a server with a hacker. Never wanna chat to a hacker. Um, that's obviously a hacker. You actually want to get toy pros for this. So that's going to make it so the hackers cheats are going to need to immediately get him to that player's base. Hopefully. And you see that? that at least one toy pro. You're probably going to need multiple. Ever say hacker in the chat, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get banned. You can't get mad at the hacker. The best thing you can do is just always have the chat closed. So I've said hacker in the chat. Uh, it doesn't go well. 
for you. Because the hacker doesn't want you to report him. So the hacker died, and I won. But usually you would have to, like, tally pearl places. So, yes. Usually the best thing you can do, but I'm pretty sure you got banned just now. Oh, I think someone destroyed his bed. But, yeah. That's how you usually be a hacker. Just get tally pearls. Because the because the hacker is way faster than you. Okay. Even if someone looks like a tryhard, they probably aren't. Person next to me, no yellow. Just to make it more like I'm doing something. <laughs> I'm just going to go for purple. They'll never suspect a thing. A god darn thing. Oh. Boom. Purple of the game. Because the person right there is going to get them out. Causing me to win. But now, they don't want to come for me, do they? Do you really? Do you? Nope, you're going to wait. You want to circle around them. It's just better for PvP purposes. And yeah, get their bed low. Uh, yeah, that happens. You die. You will die. Now that you're at base, also there are tac there is something called a tactical reset, and basically you just jump off the map just to get to your base really fast. Okay. Um. So yeah, she's getting me out. Yeah. So you want to do what that person did? You want to attack someone while they're in the spawn. Also, I'm not the best Bed Wars player. You know, I'm not tanker or whatnot. But I'm pretty good. Now, what happened to me will happen to you. Happens to the best of us. Um, yeah, so, oh my gosh. Okay. So pyro is just a go-to kit, and it, it's mostly used in doubles. Okay. Down, 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 down. Okay, come on. You idiot. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was me. <laughs> and. Okay. I almost got hurt, but that is something you do want to try to do. <sighs> okay. Do not do what she's doing. She's not very good. Just saying. She said, God. I'm a, yes, I'm a gamer god. He's probably going to call me a hacker. Okay, never mind. So, if, you see, I comboed her a lot, but I didn't quite kill her with all that combos. But, you see, combos can be very useful. Okay, come on. 
I actually don't use bows very often. Now, I'm not, it's just because my computer isn't very good, as you can see. But, some of our computers can handle it. So, if you have a good computer, I would say use a bow. You always want wool on you. Always. There's never a exception. Everyone needs one. At least 16. 48 is usually the go-to. Okay. That is something that was really risky, so you should never fight on bridges unless... I, I don't know. You should never fight on bridges. Because that could have happened to me, right? Like, what happened to her? But now I killed her. She has a really bad sword. She's going to try to use me. She comboed me. I accepted my defeat. But she did combo me. Okay, there is a situation that I need to fix. It's her bed. She always is standing near her bed. So, I'm going to use a fireball tactic on her. Uh um. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Well, I mean, that's all the tips and tricks I got for you guys. Um, I'm gonna end off the video here. You're not gonna win every match with it. There might be an auto clicker that actually has good FPS. But you can see she's probably she probably has she's probably like smashing her fingers on her mouse but you know we all die and usually the better we are at the video game you see the more get mad we get yeah um block clutch if you can that's all the tips and tricks i got for you and time to end off the video see you all in the next one bye